In a game of strategy and tactics, where every move can trigger unpredictable consequences, the S-400 stands as a symbol of power and deterrence, defying expectations and generating an aura of mystery and anticipation. In this intricate dance of geopolitical interests and international rivalries, the fate of entire nations hangs in the balance, while the world watches with bated breath the outcome of this silent but potentially explosive confrontation. But let's get to know him more. In the current geopolitical scenario, marked by tensions between the United States and Russia, each strategic move acquires crucial relevance. And we see how Moscow's threat came to consider all U.S. and Allied aircraft air targets, after the downing of a Syrian government plane, has once again highlighted the imposing role of the S-400 air defense system, widely recognized as Russia's most feared weapon. Strategically located at the Maimon base near the city of Latakia in Syria, the S-400 stands as one of Russia's most sophisticated and powerful air defense systems in the region. With all this, the S-400 is described as a colossus of military technology, with extraordinary capabilities that place it at the forefront of territorial protection. Its theoretical range, estimated at 400 kilometers, allows it to cover a vast territory that extends from Israel to a large part of Turkey passing through the eastern Mediterranean and Cyprus. However, experts such as Justin Bronk of the Royal United Institute of Defense and Security Studies suggest that, in practice, its current range is around 250 kilometers due to certain operational limitations. Now, how does this air defense colossus work? The process unfolds in several meticulously coordinated stages. First, a long-range radar scans the airspace, detecting any object in its range. Once potential targets are identified, the information is transmitted to the command vehicle, the epicenter of decision-making. It is here where the threat is evaluated and the order is issued to launch the missile towards the designated target. Subsequently, the launch data is transmitted to the best-positioned launch vehicle, from where the surface-to-air missiles are fired with millimeter precision. Throughout this process, the combat radar plays a crucial role in assisting in guiding the missiles towards their target, thus ensuring the effectiveness and lethality of the system. This intricate dance of technology and military strategy gives the S-400 an unprecedented deterrent capability, establishing an impassable wall in the sky over territory controlled by Russia and its allies. Its ability to neutralize potential air threats makes it an invaluable strategic asset in a world where disputes and conflicts unfold both on the ground and in the air. Ultimately, the S-400 not only represents the spearhead of Russian air defense, but also casts the menacing shadow of deterrence over those who challenge its might. As mentioned before, the S-400 air defense system emerges as a technological colossus capable of altering the balance of power in the theater of air operations. Justin Bronk, security and defense expert, reveals that this system has the capacity to threaten all Western air operations in central and western Syria, with the exception of radar undetectable aircraft such as the F-22 and B-2. This fact not only underlines the S-400's imposing detection capabilities, but also its ability to alter air strategy in the region. Equipped with powerful radars whose range exceeds even that of its own missiles, the S-400 gives Russia a detailed view of the aerial landscape, allowing it not only to observe the air operations of the international coalition, but also to monitor the activities of the Russian Air Force. Israel. This strategic surveillance capability gives Russia a crucial advantage in making tactical and strategic decisions in contested airspace. It is important to note that the S-400 is not the only system in the Russian air defense arsenal. The S-300, an older but equally formidable system, shares a similar range albeit with slightly less advanced features. However, it is the S-400, manufactured by the Almazanti company and first deployed in Russia in 2007, that stands out as the spearhead of Russian air defense in the region. The deployment of the S-400 to Syria, in response to incidents such as the downing of a Russian Su-24 aircraft by Turkish fighters in November 2015, underscores Russia's determination to protect its strategic interests in the region and project its influence in the theater of operations. The versatility of the S-400 is impressive. This system can target a wide range of aerial threats, including aircraft, cruise missiles, medium-range missiles, 
drones and other aerial surveillance systems. This multifaceted capability makes it the nightmare of enemy pilots and a crucial component in the defense of strategic locations on the ground. Despite its ability to establish a no-fly zone and project an implicit threat over the airspace of Syria and Cyprus, analysts warn of the risks associated with its use. Relying heavily on this system for its own defense, Russia faces the possibility of disastrous consequences if the S-400 fails to live up to expectations in an active conflict scenario. This strategic dilemma underscores the delicate power equation on the global geopolitical chessboard. The deployment of the S-400 air defense system, considered Russia's most feared weapon, triggers a complex network of strategic and tactical implications on the international stage. Security and defense experts warn of the possible repercussions of a potential conflict between Russian forces and those of the Western coalition in the Syrian region. The overwhelming presence of coalition air and naval assets in the area poses a significant challenge for Russia, which could face an unfavorable situation in the event of a direct confrontation. One of the critical points in the operability of the S-400 lies in its limited missile loading capacity before requiring reloading. This theoretical vulnerability, experts believe, could be exploited by the coalition by saturating the system with cruise missiles and other attacks by ghost or stealth aircraft. Although the possibility of the S-400 seeing action is remote, Given its strategic importance and its ability to deter aerial threats, it cannot be completely ruled out. Russia's suspension of the coordination channel established with the United States to avoid confrontations in Syria adds a new element of uncertainty to the situation. This mechanism, which has worked relatively well so far, has been considered of mutual interest to both Washington and Moscow. However, its suspension suggests a deterioration in bilateral relations and increases the risk of misunderstandings and direct confrontations between the two powers. The recent downing of a Syrian warplane by U.S. forces, amid cross-accusations over the situation on the ground, highlights the dangers inherent in the escalation of the Syrian conflict. Similar incidents have occurred in the past, with the United States presenting them as tactical responses to perceived threats against its personnel and allies. President Trump's willingness to give the Pentagon greater leeway in these situations increases the likelihood of hostile encounters and the potential for even greater escalation in the conflict. In conclusion, the situation in Syria appears increasingly tense and volatile, with the S-400 and other advanced weapon systems playing a crucial role in determining the balance of power in the region. The need for skillful diplomacy and constructive dialogue between all parties involved becomes more urgent than ever to avoid a further deterioration of the situation and a possible direct confrontation between global powers. What do you think? Thanks for joining us. If you liked this video, don't forget to like it, share your comments and subscribe to our channel for more fascinating stories. Until next time.